G'day everyone. Um, this is a quick um, guide to set up a PS3 controller or an Xbox 360 wired controller if you've got one um, on your PC to be used for PC gaming. Um, pretty simple, fairly simple. You need um, a program called DS3 Tool, which I'll put a link to in the um, description of the video. Um, I've been reading a few forums and stuff, and some people are having trouble with this tool. Ah, personally, I'm not. I've never had trouble with it. Um, but also in the forums, I've got. I've seen people respond saying they haven't had trouble. Used it for years. I'm the same. I've used it for two or three years now. Easy. And I've never had any problem with it. So I guess it's. I guess it's to do with um, drivers, maybe um, USB drivers, all sorts of stuff in your system. So everyone's different. If you do have a problem with it, just uninstall it. And um, there are other programs out there. Um, just uh, Google, yeah, just Google. But I'm going to show you how you set up the DS3 tool anyway. Okay, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is um, this is only for, it has been noted, I don't have a, a Bluetooth dongle for my laptop. So this will be a wired connection to a PS3 that I'm setting up now. So I'm just going to plug, I've got my PS3 controller in front of me with um, a um, USB wire plugged into it. And I'm just going to plug it in the PC now. So that's it, plugged in. And um, yeah, I'll just open up the DS3 tool once you've got that installed. Do something like that. And generally, first time plug in, I don't really have to do this anymore, but before when I first had to plug it in, you really you should have to click on driver manager. It will come up this message. You just hit yes and open up a new oh well, won't open up a new one, so you can just you have to click it again. There we go. And it will ask you obviously what hub or what port you've got the um the controller in and see it comes up multiples because I plug it into a random port. I don't really put it in the, the same one. And there's a little tutorial video explaining up the top there how you do it with the Bluetooth adapter if you've got one. Um, so what you would have to do normally is just select the hub the port you've got it plugged into and hit uh, load driver. And just give it a couple of seconds to think. You'll see some stuff coming down the bottom. See, it's uh, found the driver, it's loading it. And it should come up that it's installed successfully, even though I've already done it. So it doesn't really matter. The little noises you're hearing is obviously there. There we go, complete. So it's all successful down there. That's what you want to see. Looks good. So now we can go back to profiles. Now that that's connected, and it should, if it's on PlayStation 3, it will. For I found for Call of Duty, for instance, good good example, Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, any people that out there that play both consoles, you'll notice that anyone that plays Call of Duty on both consoles knows that the trigger buttons are reversed. Where on a PlayStation, your aim, then the sights, and fire weapon are the top uh, L1 and R1 respectively. Where on the Xbox, it's the the trigger buttons, so it's below. It's um, LT and RT, so they're reversed. So it depends on what your preferences or what you're comfortable with. You can switch between PlayStation 3. Or Xbox 360, it will emulate the buttons of an M. If you, if I select this one, Xbox 360, and hit Enable, that will pretty much tell my PS3 controller that we're using Xbox 360 buttons. So now, when I play Call of Duty, I will use the bottom triggers on my PlayStation controller. So like LT will be aimed in the sights and RT will be shoot. So, and then if I hit Vibration Test, I don't know if you can hear it, but it should. Rumble my uh, controller sitting right in front of me. Oh, enable. Oh, 
Ah, here we go. Back to PlayStation 3. I'm doing it there. So I, uh, yeah, I just, oh. Vibration there. There we go. So we've got a little bit of vibration. So I have to back out track. Oh. <coughs> yeah, if you can hear it. That's my PlayStation controller rumbling on the on the, on the, on the, um, on the desk. So that seems to be okay now. A little bit of a hiccup there. Yep, yeah, all good. If I change it to Xbox, is it gonna? Yep, yeah, still works. So that will emulate the Xbox buttons on my PlayStation controller. Yeah, that's pretty much <coughs> how it's done. The bad thing about this thing, its only drawback about this program is it needs to be online. It has to be connected. So if I was to disconnect my Wi-Fi now, I'm pretty sure it would disconnect my controller, which is a little bit of a pain in the bum. But it's free. <coughs> And it lets you use a, con a PS3 controller on your um, PC, which is not too bad. I'm pretty sure if I research, I might put another video up later on. I'm going to have a look around, see if I can find. I know there's some out there that you can use that don't need a constant online connection to be able to use. So hopefully I'll post a new video up soon with a new program. But this, this one should keep you going for now. Um, works fine for me as I said there's a lot of people out there that have problems with it if you do have a problem with it just uninstall it just don't use it and do some research Google use Google get some um, research going look search around there's always stuff out there okay and that's it all done